multiplying and dividing real numbers. Our objective is to multiply and divide real numbers. Why learn this? Hot air balloon pilots can determine how far away from liftoff they will be they will land by using multiplication. Vocabulary to know. A reciprocal is two numbers whose product is one. For example, if you had five and one fifth. If you were to multiply, because that is product, so if you were mul to multiply five over one, which is five as a fraction, times one over five, you would end up with five over five, which is one. So this is an example of a reciprocal. Multiplicative inverse is a number and its reciprocal. So you can think of it as, say we did 10 divided by 5, that's going to give you 2. Well, if you have 10 times 1 fifth, that's going to give you 10 divided by 5, which is 2. So together, these two are your multiplicative inverses. Multiplying and dividing signed numbers. Multiplying and dividing numbers with the same sign. If two numbers have the same sign, their product or quotient is positive. So if they're both negative, if they're both positive, if they're the same sign, your result is going to be positive. If you're multiplying and dividing numbers with different signs, then your result is going to be a negative. So whether it's a positive times a negative or a negative divided by a positive, as long as the signs are different, your answer is going to be a negative if you are multiplying or dividing. Let's practice. Find the value of each expression. So we have a negative times a positive, so you know that your result is going to be a negative number. And then 12 times 5 is 60. So your result is negative 60. Let's try B. We have 8 times our value of x, which is negative 5 fourths. So we have 8 times negative 5 fourths. Well, we have a positive times a negative, so we know our result is going to be a negative number. And then we have, we can think of it as 8 over 1. So we have 8 over 1 times negative 5 over 4, which would be negative 40 over 4, and that reduces to negative 10. You could have cross-reduced first. Either way is fine. Let's look at dividing by fractions. So when you're dividing a fraction, you're going to multiply by its reciprocal. We talked about reciprocals a few moments ago, and that means we're going to flip our fraction. So we're going to reciprocate it. So in this case, we're going to have negative 4 fifths times negative 15 over 8. And then we multiply straight across. So negative 4 times negative 15 will give us 60. And we have 5 times 8, which is 40. And this reduces to 3 halves. And then again, it's a negative and a negative, so because they're both the same sign, your answer is going to be positive. Let's look at B. We can think of this as negative 4 over 1. We have a negative and a positive, so we know our end result will be a negative. And we're dividing by a fraction. 
it's best to put this as an improper fraction. So to do so, we multiply and then add. So we have 9 times 4 plus 1 gives us 37. So we'll change colors here. So this value right here is the same as saying 37 over 4. So if we're going to divide by a fraction, we're going to multiply by the reciprocal. So we have negative 4 over 1 times, and then we need to flip this, 4 over 37. This brings us to a negative, which we already discussed, 16 over 37. Let's look at properties of zero. Multiplication by zero. The product of any number and zero is zero. So you can have one third times zero and it's zero. You can have negative 17 times zero and it's zero. It does not matter what you pick. If you multiply it by zero, your result is zero. Zero divided by a number. So the quotient of zero and any non-zero number is zero. So that's when 0 is on the top. So when you're doing 0 divided by 6, 0 divided by 2 thirds, that's when your result is 0. If you're dividing by 0, then it's undefined. Because remember, you can't have 0 in the denominator of a fraction. Let's practice. So we have multiply or divide if possible. So we have 0 divided by 16.568. Well, it's 0 divided by something, so we know that we're going to have a 0 as an answer. For B, we have this fraction divided by 0. Since it's dividing by 0, it's undefined. Remember, you can't divide something by 0. And then we have 1 times 0, which is 0. And that concludes our lesson on multiplying and dividing real numbers.